Welcome back. Before we start the class, let's pray to zero together. Okay? Fold your hands, close your eyes, and chant along with me. Om Purnamadaha Purnamidam Purnat Purnamudat Chyate Purnasya Purnamadaya Purnameva Vasishyate Slowly open your eyes. Today we are going to learn subtractions. By the end of today's class, you can just see any subtraction problem just like that and you will be able to tell the answer. Not only that, you may be able to start telling the answer before the question is fully written on the board. Oh wow, okay, we'll see if it is really true. Suppose you have a problem, 63 minus 37. How do we do this usually? Okay, we'll see how. First, we start from the right. That is our usual way. We all learn that way. We try to do 3 minus 7. Okay, 7 is bigger than 3. We cannot subtract 7 from 3. So what do we do? We go and borrow a 1 from 6 and we make it a 13. Okay, here this 6 becomes a 5. And then what we do? From 13 you subtract a 7. So it will be a 6. And then we come here. It is 5 minus 3. It's a 2. Is that right? Now we see how to solve this problem from left to right. Okay, it's a different level of perception. Okay, so we start from the left. Okay, 6 minus 3 is a 3. We know. But before we write down 3 here, we see if these guys need any help in subtraction. Hmm, these guys need help, we know. Okay, what we do? Okay, we give one away to these guys, okay? We don't like borrowing. We like to give away things because knowledge makes us rich. Okay, we gave away one, so this becomes a five, okay? And then five minus three is a two, 13 minus seven, is a 6. As simple as this. Are you wondering why we should learn subtraction from left to right also? Okay. Suppose you have a problem like this. It's a huge subtraction. It's a, it's a few millions here and a few millions here. Okay. If I ask you to give me an approximate answer to this question, what can you do? If you start subtraction from here, and come here, it will take a long time till evening. Instead, what we can do? Okay, just subtract the first two digits from these two digits and tell the answer. Okay, what is 63 minus 37? We just did it. Okay, it's a 26. Okay, here you put simply you approximate these digits to zero because these are not so significant these are the like most significant digits now the answer is two million six hundred thousand as simple as this now we will solve these subtraction problems just by looking at them without using pen and paper okay we'll try i will tell you how to do this and then you can do this by yourself okay so first, in this problem, we start from left. 7 minus 2 is a 5. Do we put down a 5? No, because these guys need a help. Okay, we give 1 away to them. So here, instead of 5, we put down a 4. 
Okay, now because we gave 1 away, this 5 becomes a 15. So, 15 minus 8 is a 7. As simple as this. Now, you try these two problems by yourself. Pause the video. Here are the answers for you. Did you get them right? Okay, here you see 4 minus 2 we put down a 2 because these guys don't need a help. Before we attempt big subtraction problems, we will do a funny thing. Do you remember digit sums? We can use digit sum check to confirm if the subtraction answer is right or wrong. Okay, we will do this. Suppose we have 69 minus 23. Okay, the answer is simple. It's a 6 minus 2 is a 4, 9 minus 3 is a 6. Okay, we will see if this answer is right or wrong using digit sum check. Okay, what is the digit sum for 69? It's a 6 because 9s don't count in digit sum. What is the digit sum for 23? 2 plus 3 is a 5. Okay, what is the digit sum for 46? 4 plus 6 is a 10. 1 plus 0 is a 1. Okay, now this is a subtraction problem. Okay, you subtract this. So you do 6 minus 5, it's a 1. Okay, this answer is probably correct. Now pause the video, do this subtraction and check the answer with a digit sum check. Okay, there is a funny thing. Okay, it's not so straightforward. Okay, we'll see how it goes. Here, 7 minus 5 is a 2, but this guy needs a help. So we put a 1, we give away 1. So this is 14 minus 8 is a 6. Okay, now we will see the digit sums. What is the digit sum for 74? 7 plus 4 is 11, 1 plus 1 is a 2. Okay, what is the digit sum for 58? 5 plus 8 is a 13, 1 plus 3 is a 4. Okay, and then what is the digit sum for 16? It's a 1 plus 6 is a 7. And what is 2 minus 4? 2 minus 4 is not 7. Okay, how do we do this? Does it mean this answer is wrong? Okay, 2 minus 4 is actually a minus 2. 2 minus 4 is a minus 2. Okay, if you have a digit sum that is a negative number, what you need to do is you have to convert to a positive number. How can you do this? You simply have to add 9s because adding 9s don't change the digit sum. So what you need to do is you add a 9 to minus 2. So this becomes actually this is 9 minus 2. It says 7. Okay, 7. The answer is correct. Wow. We have a huge subtraction problem here and we need to put down the answer without using pen and paper. Okay, can we do this? Let's do this together from left to right. Okay, first we start here. What is 3 minus 1? 2. Okay, can we put down a 2? Okay, you will see before we put down, we check if the next column needs any help. 5 minus 1, okay, this guy is big, he's, this guy doesn't need a help. So we put a 2 here without any problem. Okay, then 5 minus 1 is a 4. Before we put down a 4, we see the next column. Oh, this guy needs help. Okay, we give away 1. So instead of 4, we put down a 3. Okay, because 5 becomes because we gave 1 away. So 4 minus 1 is a 3. Okay, now here, this is 15 minus 8 is a 7. Okay, can we put this down? Yeah, because this guy doesn't need a help. Okay, and then 6 minus 2 
is for. Can we put down four? Okay, no, because this guy needs help. So we only put three here and because we give one away, so this actually becomes a 17. So 17 minus eight is a nine. Okay, this is how you can do subtraction problem just by looking at them. Now pause the video and do these subtraction problems by yourself. Here are the answers for you. Did you get them right? This one is a little more tricky. Okay, maybe you can pause the video and see if you can do this right by yourself. Okay, we'll do this together. So we start from left to right. Seven, one, seven minus one is a six. Before we put down a six, what we do? We look here. Okay, this guy needs a help. So we give one away. So here instead of six, we put down a five. Okay, and then here, 11 minus seven, four. Can we put down a four here? This guy needs a help. So instead of putting a four here, we only put a three because we give one away. So this is 11 minus seven is a four. Can we put down a four? Yes, because this guy doesn't need a help. Okay, so here is a four. Here is seven minus one, six. As simple as this. Wow. This is the ultimate subtraction problem. If you can do this without using pen and paper, you can do any subtraction just like that, okay? This one, we will do it together, okay? Are you ready? First, nine minus three is a six. Okay, now shall we put down a six? We, before we put down, we see the next column. This guy needs help or not? Oh, here you have same digits. These guys may need help or may not need help. Okay, that will depend on the next column because this guy, if he needs help from this guy, and then this guy will go down and this guy will need our help. Okay, so now we see here, oh, this guy needs a help. Okay, so this guy will also need a help. So what do we do? Nine minus three, instead of six, we put a five. Okay, this is the key. Okay, and then we gave a, a one. So now this is a 16 minus six is a 10, but this guy needs a help. So instead of 10, we put a nine and we give one away. And then here what we have 13 minus nine is a four. Before we put down, we look here, if this guy needs any help, oh, same digits. Okay, then you see the next column, if, they, if this guy needs help, oh yeah, this guy needs a help. Okay, instead of putting down a four, we put down a three and give away a one. 10 minus zero is 10. So instead of 10, we put down a nine because we give away a one to this guy and 13 minus nine is a four. Oh, before we put down a four, we see this guy is also same digits. So because these are same digits, we see the next column. This guy doesn't need help. Okay, so this guy also doesn't need help. We put down a four without any problem. Six minus six is a zero and nine minus three is a six. You can do some homework problems given in the video description below. Before that, we'll play a video that will show you how we can put down the answer to the subtraction problem even while the problem is being written. This video was taken in one of my lessons I took long back. Here is the video for you.
Okay. So, we both should start. You start from here. Yeah, you both have to go from there. You will write the first digit and he will write one digit here. And then you will go one by one and we will keep writing the answers. Okay. Oh, can you all see the numbers? Okay, go ahead. Yeah. Hey, you, you have to tell me the answers. Ready? Anyone? All of you? You should write the bigger number. Yeah. Okay, only I mean, the first I one. I should write only the, the bigger first. number. Yeah. Okay, and then you can go ahead. Yeah. Keep going. Can we say one right away? No. Yes, we can say one, two. One, go ahead. Keep, keep writing. Keep writing. Okay. Two. Okay, good job. Thank you. <laughs> That's all for today. Thank you.